Marcus Conte reporting. Uh, good morning, Marcus Conti reporting on Venezuela. Let's not let Venezuela fall out of the fold. Uh, the coup, the American coup has failed, and now Russia, Russia is stepping in and helping Venezuela. Uh-oh, what does that mean? Uh-oh, we'll find out. So uh, in while I'm in uh, in exile over here, kindly buy some stickers. You you guys are getting a a real treat. I'm just showing, and this video is not getting seen by many people on this uh, Marcus Conti 2, you know, but whatever. It takes a week, all right? So I'm in exile for a week. It'll take a week before people figure out where, you know, where the hell we are and what happened and all that stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, the good news is that uh, every video, even if I lose my main channel, which I really, I, I don't, I don't want that to happen. That would be such a tragedy. 750 videos later. To have all that deleted. But the good news is that I have every video that I've ever made off the computer. All right? I have everything saved, just as just for the record. So if 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 and when YouTube fails and and they and they repent on their sins for censoring the shit out of, out of everybody, one day we'll come back and I'll be on a separate site and I'll have every single video I ever made. But for now, kindly uh, contribute to uh, become a Patreon, right? Here we go, you know. So I gotta do, I gotta do my advertisement, right? Spartan, become a Patreon. We got uh, thirty-two Patreons doing well. I've been, I'm gonna try to make some exclusive video at Patreon. Oh, exclusive coverage, exclusive little videos, uh, and and uh, commentary. I've been trying to send out emails, all right? So become a Patreon. Do the right thing. So let's talk about. Um, Let's talk about it. Venezuela. Run Venezuela. So Venezuela. Zero hedge reporting. So the the issue in Venezuela, the American might, Pompeo and Rubio and and Bolton and and uh, Elliot Abrams and Donald Trump and Mike Pence, right, have were, attempted a coup, a coup attempt in Venezuela to overthrow the Maduro regime and implant Juan Guaido, the opposition leader, right, in an un, uh, unconstitutional, unethical, unelected uh, uh, way and try to oust him, how, try to hoist him into the presidency. And Maduro wasn't having it. The coup has failed. So Venezuela condemns trio of misfortune. <laughs> Remember when... When uh, Bolton called, uh, he called Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Cuba the troika of of tyranny. So now Maduro is is spinning it, saying it's uh, that these these three knuckleheads, the three stooges, Pompeo, Bolton, and uh, Rubio, are the trio of misfortune. <laughs> Excellent. The United States is again put. It's getting ugly though, because now Venezuela. Uh, is has the potential to become a Bay of Pigs, a a uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. Why? Because Russia is coming in to help. Right? Venezuela is getting shit on by the Americans, and uh, they're not having it. So they're reaching out to their uh, allies, and and Russia was glad to sign up. Right? So the United States has uh, again put Venezuela and Russia on notice. Well, not really Russia. That's not right. After days ago, two military planes carrying a contingency of over a hundred Russian troops led by a high-ranking officer touched down in Caracas. National Security Advisor John Bolton warned the foreign military that foreign military, quote, meddling in Latin America would not be tolerated, while Secretary of Mike Pompeo called on Russia to cease its unconstructive behavior. Uh, the hypocrisy is, is, is staggering, outstanding, Unbelievable, unprecedented hypocrisy, knowing what we know, that that these two idiots, Pompeo and Bolton, are on the record saying that there is a humanitarian crisis of epic proportions, that people are starving in the streets under the Maduro regime. On the record saying that, and then there's and then there's and then there is no evidence at all. To back it. In fact, the evidence points to the opposite of a 
a kind of a congenial, you know, economically challenged people making their way and, and, and rather happy with their pick and don't want foreign intervention. They don't want imperialism. They don't want to be turned into a, a battleground for the resources under their feet. Right? So that's really the truth. So the United States will not tolerate hostile foreign military powers. See how a Cold War starts and then it escalates into actual war? There you go. Uh, calling calling um, Russia a hostile foreign, foreign military power, meddling in Western Hemisphere's shared goals of democracy, security, and rule of law. You almost have to choke when you read them, when you hear them say it. Democracy, security, and rule of law? What fucking law? This, the United States is acting in the most unlawful way, unsecure, undemocratic way, trying to overthrow an elected official and insert some jerk-off CIA plant and, and take the oil. The Venezuelan military uh, must stand with the people of Venezuela, the National Security Advisor wrote. Venezuela quickly lashed back, accusing the U.S. of uh, causing the impoverished nation's third mass electric outage in less than a month on Monday. They, someone's, somebody's whacking the power supply in Venezuela. It happened three times now. It's not an accident. Monday's outage affected a little over half a million, half, over half the nation. 57% of the nation went black including parts of Caracas. Shortly after, I, parts of Caracas. I bet the parts of Caracas that didn't go black are, are the ones with, with, the, with the wealthy people in the, in the shopping malls with all the luxuries in the world. I bet that's the part of Caracas that didn't go down. Venezuelan Vice President uh, Delis Rodriguez made a televised statement saying, the fascist right and their American imperial masters had attacked key trans transmission lines impacting about 50%, 57% of Venezuela. Wow. So that's, that's right from the, from the top of the uh, Venezuelan administration, calling them right, fascist right and American imperialist masters. Oof. The, the climate is certainly get, I, I think they're, they're, the, the Venezuelan people and the government are certainly doing a good job at getting out the um, getting out their point of view rather than getting smothered by the phoniness of the American imperialists. Maduro, in our name, you know, and it's sad because it's in our name. Where are the guys doing this? They're doing it in our fucking name. Get out of there. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. We're not going to stop paying attention. We're going to still talk about it. Maduro's uh, vice president questioned, what was the objective of, the, of the, this new attack? It gets even worse. I want to show you the, um, there's, there's now missiles. Russia put missiles into place. It's, it's, getting, it's, going to get, it's going to get heated if the U.S. doesn't get the fuck out of there and leave them alone. Uh, it was to the, 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 what was the objective of these new attacks, the electrical attacks? It was to dep deprive Venezuela's people of electricity as, has ha as happened so terribly just two weeks ago. So sanctions, jack up their power supply, smear them with misinformation about humanitarian efforts that don't exist, call, them, call their leader a dictator and a tyrant, a brutal dictator, unelected, un, ungrateful, right? That's what they're doing, right? That's, that's our country doing that to Venezuela with no evidence on the ground. What, it, what there is evidence on the ground is that, that, the, that there was a, um, uh, a dispute over uh, oil possession prior to 1999 before Hugo Chavez came in and, and stopped it and gave the uh, resources of the country back to the people. All right, so that's really what it's about. It's about big oil. It's about big fucking oil leaning on the United States government, Pompeo, fucking Rubio, and the rest of them, to get busy and get the fucking oil back, get control. We're losing control in Venezuela. Uh, so Maduro previously blamed Washington for early outages, claiming over Twitter that the Trump administration was engaging in electrical war, which was announced and directed by American imperialists against our pe uh, people. Rodriguez further told state uh, television this week that the opposition was responsible for the mass outage. 
So, so there it is. I'm claiming it wants to plunge the population into profound unease. That's, that's precisely what's going on. That's the uh, Juan Guardo's opposition, the, the money, the people that have the power and the privilege, the arguably the 1% of their country is probably owns and has, you know, powered interests, you know, in the electric supply and could all those, those are the people that could pull it off. Right? So that's what they're doing. So it's sabotage. The, the, the people that want to lead the country are sabotaging the country, trying to bring them to their knees with, with American might and American, American propaganda. And now they're reaching out to Russia for help. They're reaching out to anybody for help because they're not going to go down. They're not going to go down. They're, you know, proud people, right? Likely as Washington continues to eye Caracas for regime change and destabilizing coup efforts, Russia could be drawn into further, into further on-the-ground military cooperation, setting the stage for the next potential U.S.-Russia proxy war, similar to the past few years of Syria. Very good, very good, very good analysis, zero hedge. So here's, this is just a report on the... Um, the actual power outage where 57% got knocked out. And uh, I guess these are the uh, power, the power Venezuelan Captain Manuel, blah, 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 the air base, right? This is where they're putting up military. Watch these. Uh, I got the, ne the next one you're going to see. This guy should, should resign. He's a failed, failed fucking CIA liar. Pompeo, CIA liar. Liar number one, lying in our name. Want to buy a phone? It's always advertisements there. So Russia military deploys S-300 missiles following Russia, Russian troop arrival. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at what's going on in Venezuela. They got fucking, what the hell are these things? They're fucking missiles and silos and tanks. They're Russians. <laughs> On the ground in Venezuela. Shit's about to get real. Following the major uh, weekend de development of Moscow, Moscow ambiguously asserting its red line concerning potential U.S. military intervention in Venezuela, for which Russia sent a military transport plane filled with Russian troops, which landed in Caracas Saturday. New satellite images reveal a major deployment of S-300 air defense missile systems to key air base uh, air base south of Caracas. You know what? If anything happens here, if anything goes wrong and there is intervention, it's fucking our fault, man. It's, it's Pompeo. It's Trump lying his ass off. It's, it's Pence lying his ass off, bringing in the war criminal, Elliot Abrams, the fucking, the hack, the, the Iran Contra hack. And the Nicaragua hack that killed all these people and, and led the country into unnecessary wars in Libya, in Syria. Right? It's our fault. Get out of there. You're doing this in our name. So Marcus Conti reporting. That's about it on Venezuela. So it's still it's still cooking, it's still brewing. And uh we need to, you know, continue to talk about it. I think that um, what's his name? Uh uh, Matt, uh, Max Blumenthal did excellent work bringing to our attention, actually getting his ass into Venezuela, in Caracas, uh, and, and, and reporting about what he was seeing in Venezuela. And there were no food shortages. And there was, uh, there was no humanitarian crises or there was no dictatorship. There was no socialism. There was nothing of the sort. What you have is a economic bubble a capitalist bubble where 1% has seized power, just like here, oligarchy, monopoly, where a few people control everything. And they're, they're doing it with food prices. That's the problem, right? And now they're trying to seize power so that they can get control of the oil reserves, which at this time they actually, they have at least some control of the money that was coming through Petavesa into Citgo oil here in the U.S. that Goldman Sachs, under the direction of our Sec Tre Treasury, Secretary of Treasury, Steve Mnuchin, who is, is a Goldman Sachs guy, they did seize the money. They seized the accounts of Venezuela. And England was kind enough to also seize the Venezuelan gold supply. 
and, and cut them off of their resources, right? It's, it's austerity. It's, it's aggression, right? It's, it's, taking, it's taking someone's money. It's stealing. It's looting the country and then saying that you're spreading democracy. How fucking ridiculous. How hypocritical. Marcus Conti reporting.